Buongiorno, eh, mi chiamo Romina, sono un'insegnante madrelingua australiana presso l'associazione AIDEA. Eh, di solito tutti gli anni organizziamo delle passeggiate linguistiche, eh, però quest'anno ovviamente per il problema eh, che stiamo affrontando, il momento difficile che stiamo affrontando, non eravamo in grado di, di farlo. Quindi abbiamo pensato di comunque condividere le nostre passeggiate con voi, facendo una passeggiata virtuale. Eh, ho organizzato delle schede e adesso andrò a illustrarvi, eh, leggerò man mano eh, il, il reading. Eh, alla fine delle schede ci sono eh, due schede con diciamo, la raccolta del lessico che è collegata direttamente eh, al reading. Quindi iniziamo? Let's go! Let's start! Strolling around La Spezia. It is well known fact that to know the city inside out, a stroll on foot brings the most satisfaction. This goes for La Spezia too. Let's start from Palace de Nobili, uh, where you can find Palace de Nobili in Sant'Agostino Square 54. The palace belonged to the Contessa Castiglione, just like the whole role of Piazza Sant'Agostino. The Palazzo de Nobili was born out of the union of the tower houses of the late Middle Ages, which formed the outer part of the town walls towards the sea. Between the 17th and the 18th century, these old houses were extended and decorated according to the new styles. Then we go on. In Via Prione, we can find Alice Massa. The beautiful Manieres portal is decorated by grotesque masks, fruit festoons and veiled capitals. It led to the atrium of the old Palace Massa, which ended the continuous row of buildings of Piazza Sant'Agostino and had its monumental facade along Via del Pione. Going on in Via Prione, on the right, we can find the Theatre Civico in Mentana Square. The first theatre was inaugurated in 1846. Uh, by Ippolito Cremona. You can see uh, the, the, the old theatre the in, in the photo. In 1933, it was replaced by an original building designed by the architect Franco Oliva, who of the previous building, Oliva, only preserved the three stone, stones arching in correspondence of the openings. The evaluations of verticalism, the figures and the relief by Augusto Mali on the facade and the original interior decoration strongly enhance its function as a temple of the city's culture. Going on in, uh, in the public gardens, uh, we can find Gabriel, uh, Garibaldi monument. The work by Florentine sculptor Antonio Garella was inaugurated in 1913 after much discussion because the Spezzini would have preferred to resolve much other important issues concerning the community, I suppose economical issues. Nonetheless, the monument has been accepted by the people and loved to this day. It is considered one of the most beautiful monuments dedicated to the hero of Italian Sorgimento caught in the act of launching an attack on the saddle of his horse, leaning only on his back legs. Going on, uh, there's Palco della Musica. The building was bought by the, uh, by the Comune, the, town, the town's council, at the International Exposition of Turin in 1866. It takes us straight back to the Belle Epoque and its carefree atmospheres. Every Sunday morning, it would become the band of the Navy, which offered an open-air concert to the inhabitants of La Spezia. Going on again, uh, just in front of the arsenal, there's Domenico Chiodo Monument. 
Square and Via Chiodo represent two important places for La Spezia. Square Chiodo, with its monument, is located in front of the military arsenal. Between an architect and a general, certainly Domenico Chiodo has been a key piece for the birth of modern Spezia. Once a little town of fishermen became an industrial city. To him was given the project of the construction of the military naval arsenal. He designed it on behalf of Camilo Benzo di Cavour, who, from the political end of the time, sensed its strategic potential. It is said that then Prime Minister Cavour met with the then military engineer officer Domenico Chiodo on the Capuchin Hill overlooking the Gulf and the city, still far from its actual development, to identify which was the best place to build the military arsenal. Here we are uh, at the vocabulary. Let's read it together. Stroll, to walk slowly, easily, for pleasure. On foot, by walking. Palace, a large and usually honorate place. According, in proportion, in relation. Vertilism, tall vertical building. Let's go on. Mannerist, late Renaissance, architectural style. Veiled, not openly revealed or expressed. Facade, the front of a building. Relief, sculpture effect. Atrium, the main or, or central room open to the sky. And that's, that's all. And thank you very much. Bye-bye. Uh,